the deadline. Gotta get to work. Do you mind emptying the car? So this year has been a record snowfall year, and it takes maybe 60 feet of snow just sitting on the ground to produce one foot of glacial ice in a year. Oh, yeah. wow. So when was the last time you were here? Gosh, well, except for the times we've been passing through, it would be last February? That's when we were living in the Wildfire Motel. Oh, I remember. Size of a thimble, and uh, no internet and water that was completely undrinkable. I do remember it with real fondness, though. Might have been one of the great months of my life. I'm not sure why. It seems to me that you spend 12 hours a day painting in a closet. And never going outside ever. No, I, I, I saw pictures of you doing this. Yeah. Um, but um, this month, life is gonna be way more balanced. We're gonna go snowshoeing and check this out. Frequent fryer grilled cheese discount card? Sorry, uh, number one. Um, community pool membership <laughs> card. I'm gonna get one as soon as I stop eating all those grilled cheeses and can fit in my Speedo again. Yeah, uh -huh. <laughs> Rinalda. Simply because you are the smartest among us does not mean you are born to lead, does it not? But I untied the Gordian knot. That was just Gordon coiled up in a knot and you know it. Well, I solved the Rubik's Cube. The true queen of the snakes must be brave as well as clever. I am brave. We require a token of your courage. Otherwise, we will not come to your parties. How shall I prove myself? Touch that human's boot. Yes, touch that human's boot. That's disgusting, Margaret. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. I just got an email from Ethan. The uh, procession of the species parade is happening up in Olympia, happens every year, and they, um, they, uh, their apartment faces the main street where the parade walks right by. Oh yeah, didn't they make a gigantic pair of bird legs and hang them out the window one year for this? That's the one. So this year they've decided to totally outdo themselves, and instead they're going to make some giant testicles, and they're going to hang those testicles right outside the window. It'll be great. Testicles? Yeah, well it's a procession of the species, and so species. Reproduction, testicles, the whole bit. And everyone's cool with it there, and, and it's just fun. And so Ethan asked me to come up with a few ideas, and, and so, you know, I, uh, all I can think of is, is uh, trash bags full of crumpled paper, which isn't very good. Right. Lots of mammals have them, it's true. But they want to do human testicles? Yeah, it's Olympia. Tr trust me, they're... Sure. No, I only ask um, in case they want to make it more flesh-colored. Like a duvet or something made of cloth would work well. They could fill it with balloons. Oh. Yeah, I like that. Hey, how about, um, you know those, uh, those, I don't know what they call them, but those exercise balls that people sit at, you know, at their desk? Oh, yeah. Bouncy. Bouncy. <laughs> Speaking of office chairs, how's your work going? It is going great. You know, I love Reno. I love, I love the space we're in. It's just perfect for just, for just nonstop working. I am, uh, you know, I was a little distracted in San Diego, but this, I feel like I'm just plowing through, and and it's, uh, 
And it's great, especially, you know, you know how I am, like my, you know, how anyone is. Their work is tied up in their self-worth and everything. And so, so, uh, yeah. if I still wasn't getting anything done, if I was just, you know, having trouble, I would, I would feel like a total, total idiot. How's your work going? Oh, great. Good. Hey, that's a tool. That's nice. Hey, new idea. Maybe Ethan can rent two weather balloons. Huh. Huh. How'd it go? Uh, cool. Oh, great. Great. Mm. You know they have a deep end. And I totally get the rationale behind swim caps now. I got my arm actually tangled in my hair and went in a little bit of a circle and uh, ended up in the lane of the guy next to me who was wearing a mermaid's tail. And going like 30 knots. Oh. Yeah. The swelling's going down. And I think he's not going to press charges. So, yeah, nice time? Yeah. Definitely going back tomorrow. Well, she went on, turning paler as she watched him, while her eyes grew yet more lustrous in their earnestness. They could buy those words of me and the meaning that belongs to them, once cast away. I was thinking, no matter what they decide to use for testicles, they're going to need hair. The pipe cleaner seems like it could be a good choice. Yeah, yeah, we'll uh, find a little glue. Yeah, or just, you know, stick them through whatever fabric they're using. Yeah, uh, curl them into little pubic curls. I think that's, uh, I think that's brilliant. Thanks. It was an inspired moment. Oh, it's so good to be in Reno after being on the road, just to have all this time to do nothing but work. Mm. Yeah. Reno. Reno. Um, you know, I think I'm going to go out for just real quick. Um, I need to get some pencils. You need any? I think I'm also on the pencil front. Okay. Well, then I'll see you in a couple of hours. Mm -hmm. I've been working this whole time. Did you uh, get your pencils? Right. Pencils, no. Oh. Where'd you go? You were out for um, two days. To get pencils. Hmm. Uh, I forgot. Hmm. Maybe I'll try again after a nap. Okay. I'm just gonna work a few more hours here. Hey Gus, I'm all done. Gus? So, you find any pencils? Uh, too expensive. But, um, I had a thought. Um, for the hair, maybe instead of pipe cleaner, they could use, like, a dark-colored yarn. It would sway nicely in the breeze. It's a good idea. Unfortunately, I reread the email, and, um, and he actually, he wrote tentacles, not testicles. That was my mistake. Sorry about that. So you think it's a good idea, then?